Yogiology.com. Today we're going to do a short flow that's focusing on getting stronger in the core. So not just the superficial muscles of the core, but some really deep functional muscles that will help you not only in your yoga practice, but as you go from day to day activities. So I just had a baby um, about I guess eight months ago already, but I'm still really working on getting the muscles back in the core. So these are all really nice uh, poses that you can practice. You can do some of the core strengthening ones on your own, on their own, or you can do them um, all together in this flow. So enjoy. So we're going to start at the top of our mat, coming into mountain pose, toes together, heels slightly apart right behind the second and third toe. Inhale, I'm going to bring the arms up. Already, I'm engaging my core here, right? So that's going to be kind of key throughout, using the core a lot in all of these poses. And then exhale, keeping the core strong, folding forward into Uttanasana. Weight forward, fold in. Bend the knees. I'm going to plant the hands either side of the feet and step back to plank pose. So we're getting the shoulders right over the elbows, the elbows right over the wrists. You're lengthening the tailbone back towards the heels, engaging your legs, spiraling upper inner thighs up towards the ceiling, pulling the core in tight, press the mat away from you, look forward slightly so the back of the neck stays nice and long. Take one more breath in, and then exhale, lift up, press back. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Spread the fingers, melt the heart back towards the upper thighs. Heels down or pressing down. So start by lifting the right leg up. You can keep it bent to start. Spread the toes, and then inhale, pull the knees in towards the nose. Keep pressing the mat away, lift the heel up higher, and then exhale, shift back. This time we're going to bring the knee to the outer right arm. Lift it up as high as you can. Go forward, hold. Exhale back. And then knee to outer left arm. Lift it up as high as you can. Set the right foot down. Inhale, forward plank pose. So I'm trying not to let the hips drop. Try not to lift the hips up. Trying to stay nice and long. And you'll feel that when the core is working, you're in the right position. And one more breath. Exhale, back. Downward facing dog. Other leg, inhale. Left leg comes up. And keep the knee bent, spreading the toes so that leg's staying active. Inhale, knee to nose. Squeeze up and in. Exhale, back. Inhale, knee to upper left arm. Exhale, bring it back. Last side, inhale, knee to upper right arm. Exhale, bring it up. Feet down. Walk the hands back towards the feet. The feet are staying hip width apart. Inhale, look forward, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold down. Yeah, keep the legs strong. Walk yourself back forward. Plank pose. Exhale, you're going to step the right foot between the hands. Get the right knee right over the ankle. Press back through the left heel. Inhale, up, high lunge. And interlace the fingers with the palms of the hands up. As you do that, I want you to squeeze inner and outer thighs in. So you're feeling supported here. Right hip bone lifting up off the thighs. Press the palms up. Bring the chin towards the chest. Lean forward halfway. Hold the navel in. Back of the neck is loose and long. Palms of the hands pressing forward. Exhale, hands down to the floor. 
you're going to bring all the way into the right foot. Lift the left foot up. Walk the hands forward a bit so they're right underneath the shoulders. And start by lifting one arm. And then maybe eventually get both arms. Exhale, hands down to the floor, bend the right knee, step back, plank pose. Three breaths here. Exhale, step the left foot forward. Setting up for high lunge. Inhale to rise when you're ready. So I'm not just letting my hips fall forward. Squeezing in and then lifting this left hip bone up. Squeeze in, lift up. And then raise the fingers, the other index finger goes on top. Press the palms of the hands up. Press back in the right heel. Let that sink you down a bit more, but you're still lifting up, you're still squeezing in. And then come forward halfway. Keep the back of the neck long, navel pulling in. Pressing the palms forward. And then exhale, release hands down. Walk the back foot in so you can get the hands underneath the shoulders. Then straighten the left leg, lift the right foot up. Trying to get it level with the floor. Square the hips. Start just by lifting one arm up. See how that goes. Maybe both. Warrior three. Exhale, hands down to the floor, bend the left knee, set the right foot down, plant the hands, step back plank. We're going to come down to the forearms, forearm plank, shoulders stack right over the elbows. Don't let the hips come up here, not goblin. Right, we're staying down low, working the core. If you feel like your low back is hurting, try to engage the upper thighs more, spiral them up towards the ceiling. And then engage the core more. All right, let the core support your back. Keep pressing the forearms down. Keep the neck loose, jaw loose. Exhale, knees down to the mat. Take a little rest, child's pose. We come into another variation of plain pose here. Inhale, come forward. Forearms down, same thing. Step right back into it. Only this time you're going to come onto the outer edge of the right foot. Stack the left foot on top. Inhale, hips lift. Exhale, lower. Four more. Inhale up. Exhale, lower. Inhale up. Exhale, lower. Two more. Inhale up. Exhale, lower. Inhale up. Exhale, lower. Back through center. Switch sides. Outer to the left foot, right foot stacks on top. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. Two more. Lift, lower. Lift, lower. Come back to center. Nice. Engage your core. Keep the neck loose. Exhale, knees down. Balas in the child pose. Inhale, come up to all fours. Spread the fingers wide, setting up for downward facing dog. Down dog. Step the right foot forward. Walk the hands forward a bit. You're going to lift the left foot up off the floor and bring the heel towards the bum. Then you're going to draw the left knee through the hands, trying to let the foot touch the floor. Shoot it forward. Again, don't let the foot touch the ground. Kick back. Bring it in, shoot forward, three more. Back, bring it in, shoot forward, two more. Back, bring it in, shoot it forward, last one, back. Shoot it in, forward, awesome, hold. Hold the knee in, don't let the foot touch. Draw the heel up, press back. Set the foot to the back of the mat, drop the heel down. Warrior two, inhale to rise. Back 
the arm strong. Arm strong here. Take the left hand behind you. See if you can find the right thigh. Draw the right hand down towards the floor. You're not going to let the hand touch, though. You can press the knee. Don't let the hand touch the floor. And start to float the right arm up. Keep turning the chest. And exhale, release. Step back down, though. Other side, left foot comes forward. So you're going to lift the right heel up, bring it towards you. Bend it in, keep the heel lifting, come up with the ball of the left foot, shoot forward. Again, that's one, four more. Two. Three. Namaste.